here we are at chessstars.com. We have contest weekend, and it's the first day of a two-part match between Grandmaster Ksada from Cuba and Grandmaster Solgovnichenko from Ukraine. His first name is Yuri, and it was originally spelled Y-O-U-R-I, but now it's just Y-U-R-I for short. Call him Solo if you wish. So we have for you Coach Michael Alper and Chess Stars President Sasha Star. Welcome. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, thank you, Marty. We are about to start the game. The first move uh, is by uh, Grandmaster Junieski Casada. Mike, tell us what is he going to play? He's going to play E4, and I expect uh, Skavenigan again uh, today. Yuri actually had a very easy time in their last match, and I didn't get it in. Wow. Mm -hmm. So the game started. Yeah. Yuri's move. So Yuri, you know, C5. Yeah. Probably the most expected move. Don't 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 change what isn't broken. Sure, why not? Okay, so C5 was played, and um, now it's knight f3 probably. Yep. Yes, knight f3 was played, and there are a bunch of winners on that move. And Yuri d6, yes, d6 was played very quickly. Yep. So we expect normal line of d4. Yep. Yes, d4 is probably it will be played. And now Yuri, 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 Yuri. What is he going to play? Wow. <laughs> he played a few times knight f6 in this position, but probably he decided to change his mind, and yes, he did. So we're in a classical uh, Sicilian right now. Yeah. Everything should be normal all the way to 5e6. Probably see a Karras yeah. attack again, too. So we have now a few leaders here on the board. So normal moves might sit three, and I see no reason that it's not going to be played now. So Matsilion is in first place together with Victor Maga, 249 crowns, and now 59. Okay. Yeah, I've had every move right, but I was too slow on the first move, amazingly enough. So that's how Victor has the lead. Uh, bravo, Victor. Yes, Victor and Marcel Leon, they both yeah. are up considerably. Ah, A6, a surprise. A surprise. We got a Nidorf. Wow. Mm -hmm. Maybe, probably. Wow, I didn't expect that. No, there are several moves that could be played in this position, as we know. Yeah. H3. That's fantastic. Okay. Well, E6 for sure. Three, E6. Oh, E5. Well, it's a it's a coin flip, isn't it? Between E6 and E. He went with E6. All right. Yuri's playing very fast. Mm -hmm. All right. Now he played H3 to play G4, so I think we can count on that one. Okay. Agreed. Done. G4 was played. And now, just now, is G5 so dangerous for us? Huh? Well, Kasparov played knight fd7. Uh, D5 is popular. Bishop e7 is popular. Yuri's playing like uh, he's on fire. All right, Bishop g2. We have big winners, Maurice Ramirez, 652 crowns. And Michael Barron and Peter Abulia, 163 crowns, and Aristi de Plet, 73 crowns. Okay, congratulations to winners. And now, before we continue development of so E7, maybe, just maybe, or Knight C6, and no winners, believe it wow. or not. Wow. 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 That's an interesting development. 
for me should be three probably yeah. should be looked at uh knight takes c6 now the first in actually knight takes c6 and f4 i don't know but bishop it really looks to me most likely to be played it looks yeah. aesthetically appealing agreed Okay, so let me see, let's see now. First of all, the leaderboards, we have Maritza Ramirez and Bishop 3 played. Okay, so what could be played now? Bishop E7 looks like a normal... Yeah, and there it play. is. Okay, now what? F4, Queen. knight takes c6, queen e2. I think f4. Yeah, very possible. Queen d2 is possible. I don't affect move queen d3. Yeah, we've still got 383 games in the database. But you see queen, queen d3, you are almost inviting some kind of attacks, whether it's knight e5, knight b4. Why do you need that? Yeah, queen d3 okay. has happened one time. F4 249 times, including uh, a couple by Anand. Uh, queen e2 89 times, queen d2 only 17 times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, in the meantime, we have our two big leaders, Mauricio Ramirez, 684 crowns, Martin Leon, 669 crowns, and followed by Ismail Vidal, Victor Maga. And he played queen e2. Wow. And many others. So, queen e2. Okay. Okay, Yuri has had this position before. He took the knight. I think so. I think it's a good choice. You got to draw a Popov in uh, 2016. Okay, so what you like would it take? And uh, now possibly e5. Yeah. The first hand. Yep, yep, yep. There are some other available for sure. E5 almost for sure. Yes. And bishop e3 is almost for sure, right? Yep. Okay, so now what's in on is in soul lead. This 1,211 crowns, and now even more. Okay, so now we're looking at into b5. Looks reasonable to me. Bishop e6 and castle. Okay. b5. Yeah, b5 looks to me very reasonable move. Essentially, there is a, a little threat, like um, <coughs> He should be 7, b4, and pawn on e4 becoming somewhat exposed. Now it's a choice between a3 and queenside castles. Hmm. Coin flip. Yeah, how to say. Uh, queenside castle. It's a very ambitious move, but it's possible, sure. Yeah. We're going to find out Uniski's mood today. Good job, Uniski. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, B4 is the obvious follow-up. Very proud of Uniski for going with that. Okay. B4 is played. Now we have to play... And we got to a position where uh, Yuri drew a move 15. There ain't going to be a draw today, I'll tell you that.
And Stockfish says black's better. Interesting. Yes. After after um pound cakes and now you have choice. Bishop D seven, A five. Okay, so what Uriel you Castle. Castle is a whole And then I would expect uh Uniski to play Bishop E four or King B1. Bishop B4 seems to be sharper. Yeah. I love it. However, it doesn't stop F5. Do you know? Do you see? Hmm. I don't know if that's Black's plan, though. Bishop H4. Wow. What? Yeah, bishop h4 or a5, I would expect. I think, yeah, a5, oh, too late. Victor Mago just got 440 crowns. Yes, and Michael so Brown. I hesitated. Oh, my uh, goodness. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> you have to be fast. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. All right. With DG1 or King B1. King B1. All right. Now. Now. Will he play Bishop H4 now? Bishop G5 actually is possible. What else? Rook? Oh, Bishop A6 maybe. What is it for? What's wrong with F5? It's not on the board, but still, I, I think F5 is... Oh, Bishop G7 and Isma Brutic won one... 1056 crowns and Aleander Uskate 204. Congratulations! Well done! Very good. So, what to do? Rook? Rook G1, maybe? Oh, Rook G1? Maybe a 4 now. Race for uh, yeah, I mean, if to play f4, yes, you're right, it's now because uh, if black will kick in bishop g5, it will be rather difficult to play f4, and actually, yeah. all your pawns will become paralyzed. Yeah, I like f4 here. I don't know why Stockfish does it. Yes, it's it's many last time to last chance to play f4. Uh, however, first he needs rook d, g1, after which white's position is better, supposedly. Wow. It's quite a contest. The Mazzi really got the drop on us. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So we are looking at uh, rook d to g1. It's the first hint and it seems to me a reasonable move. And the only other move I could see can compete with f4. And there's also hint h4. Uh, what wisdom of move h4? Huh. If black takes on h4, then what, what white is going to do? Um, uh, yeah, that does seem a little odd. I, I, can, I think we can count on that not being played. It's Rook DG1 or F4. He's taking his time. I guess so the idea I'm there is to have an open file to work with, but that just seems kind of uh, pretty deep for Uniski to try something that... Uh, <laughs> No, actually, it, it does make some sense. H4, bishop takes h4, and then g5, between yeah. h5, and going really into crazy attack. Maybe that's the case. Yeah, as I said before, one of the first chess books I ever read was uh, um, The Art of the Middle Game by uh, Paul Karras. 
And when he described opposite side castling, he just said, whosoever pawns hits first wins, and you don't care about losing the pawns because you'd rather have the open files for attack. Yeah. <laughs> I was about well, 10 years old when I bought that book, and I never forgot that. It was, it was a lot, it's, opposite side castling positions are a lot of fun. Many, many, many years ago, when I was young, believe it or not, I played uh, Keras in a uh, simultaneous exhibition with clocks. Yeah. So I was one of 10 people, and I was the only one who beat him, actually. Yeah, no, that, that, that's just a fantastic memory, man. I mean, wow. I remember, I remember actually opening very well. I, I, I probably I, I, I have scores somewhere. I have to find it. It was uh, King's Indian four pounds attack, which Keres played from time to time to time. Wow. And I don't know. I didn't make any tips <coughs> or anything. I just play very normal moves with like c five, e six, he takes d five, and then somehow. The game was very easy for me, for, for whatever reasons. Well, when he had stronger positions, there were people on the level of uh, masters or candidate masters. Oh, good job, so, Nisky. F4 was actually played. Did you get him to sign the score sheet? Yes, of course. Of course, yes. He signed it. Well, Yuri's got to take that. Must take, yeah. Well, at least I'm uh, above a thousand crowns now. I got a chance here. Okay, so what's now? Bishop takes for sure. I, I think he'd go back to uh, a4 again. After, well, yeah, bishop takes. I'm talking about black. I think black okay, just so play I a4. Have leaders here and there. Okay, and now it's a4. a race. It's a race. Best played. B3. Why B3? Why is Stockfish looking at b3? Uh, well, it's a typical attack. You take on b3 and then you play a4. It's possible. Mm. Now, first is bishop f6. Why? What about pawn on g6, no? Mm -hmm. And rook e8, a reasonable move. Uh, A4. Now Yuri's taking time. Amazing. Well, he has extra five minutes, so yeah. why not to take a, a look at what's really going on? Sure. Did you see these uh, candidates' uh, games? No, I've uh, I've been uh, making sure we have a smooth broadcast today. I haven't watching been watching that stuff. Plus, I've been watching the uh, basketball. Oh, I was watching the games. It was really amazing what's happened today. What First happened? of all, believe it or not, Karyakin beat Caruana. Oh, wow. Right. And now they're sharing first and second with uh, plus two. Wow. Can you imagine that? Caruana. He's a very real resilient guy. Very, after six rounds. He was minus two. Wow. Peter Rabula. Wow. Oh, Good wow. Job, Peter. Peter Rabula won 1,515 crowns. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And he's in first place right now. Macedon second. Isma Brutis third. Followed by Michael Hofer, Sami Descolona, Perdomo, Navastar, and Rabula. Congratulations. Well done. Mm -hmm. So, what now? This is a tough position. Mm -hmm. White's well, got a lot of different options. Well, Queen F3 is first hint, Queen H2 also. I'm trying to figure out where the rooks belong. Mm -hmm. Well, amazing. So what, what to do in this position? <coughs> I'm tempted to put a rook on F1. Right. You see, uh, I, I, I don't like queen e3 because of the pin, rook e8, very nasty pin. So queen f3 looks like a better option. Queen h2, not bad in my opinion because it increases pressure on g6. Mm. 
Mm, it's hard to say now. Mustafa says it's two queen moves, and that's it. Find that hard to believe. Also, queen h2 has a plus that um, it, uh, it's threatening h4. Yeah. Yeah. So queen f3. Now, bishop d6 may be a little bit of danger. <coughs> Yeah, it looks like so, yeah. Okay, <laughs> it's a very interesting what uh, Grand Master Yunyaski Kesada will play in this position. Yeah, I think it's one of the two queen moves. Yeah, both moves actually are taking away a queen from e file. The problem with bishop takes d6 is bishop takes g4 and uh, disco attack on the bishop. So you need to clearly see that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even simple move, uh, rook e8, is quite uh, unpleasant because it exposes uh, pin on e file. Well, I like both players' attitudes today. They're both uh, taking chances and coming out uh, to fight. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Very, very interesting middle game position, actually, at this moment. And also today, uh, Ding Lijen <coughs> won against... Manidiaro. Oh, Queen H2 was played. 596 oh. crowns, baby. You talked me into it. Yeah, you Thank like you, it. Thank you, Sasha. Very good. Queen H2 was played. And just now... Okay, so Bishop F4 is one of the moves to consider. Rook E8. Okay, so it's either one. I don't think that Uniski, or Uniski, Yuri would want to like draw the queen closer, so I guess rookie eight makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah, we're attacking the rook, developing, uh, developing rook and take uh, the e file, attacking the bishop. What else can you ask for just one move? Right, right. You're also, it's preparing the forward move. Then you can take on f4 and play rook e5. Yeah, yeah. Yuri's not the kind of guy to make trades just for the sake of making trades. There we go. Yeah, I understand this guy. That's a good thing. Well, bishop d3 seems to be box. Yeah. Well, I guess he could rip the bishop. But again, I don't think either guy is too eager to make that trade yet. Although, after bishop d3, I guess Yuri's almost going to have to unless he uh, pushes and pawns on the queen side. And we have two and Milojevic and Maurice Ramirez, each oh. one 400. Surprise three. move. Huh? Surprise this move. Well done. Uh, wow, that was a mistake. And Yuri will see that. Well, yeah. is it a mistake? Is it a mistake? Yeah, it's not a very good choice of this. This is a mistake. I'd yeah. Try, you know, I, I'd try and make him think it's a mistake. I'd play Bishop H4 just for the psychological aspects. It's good to see York and Abdullah here. Yeah, do you think uh, bishop h4 is better than bishop takes f4? Psychologically, yes. It'll cause white to have some doubt that maybe he made a mistake. Yeah, I agree with you, yeah. So b bishop f4 almost expected move, but bishop yeah. h4 is something makes you yaks. Ah. Uh, then you have to move the book. Where are you going to move it? E2, E3, goodness. Yeah, uh, I, uh, huh. hmm. 
Actually, I see how that could maybe help you, Niski, if he just played bishop g3, and then he's got the access to push g5 that he didn't quite have before. I don't know. I don't know if it makes much difference. And I guess that's what Yuri's trying to figure out right now. Well, uh, when bishop is better placed, on f4 or g3? Probably on f4. Yeah. Yeah, we're just keeping so, an eye on h6, too, yeah. So by making bishop move to g3, you're achieving certain, certain yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Hmm. On the other hand, after bishop h4, bishop g3, your d6 pawn is still hanging, and... Yeah. Uh, what exactly you're going to do after that? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so bravo again to uh, Yuniski for playing very enterprising chess today. He hasn't always done that on chess stars, but it's, it's good to see him playing uh, like a macho man today. And playing well. Yeah. 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 So far, so far the game is very interesting and uh, very unpredictable. He's got a 95-point FIDE uh, advantage on the rating with uh, Yuri, but uh, yeah. again, I don't think that matters much at all, actually. At uh, one point, uh, he should have played A4 uh, instead of uh, what, what he played uh, just a couple of moves ago. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Yeah, Perhaps well. instead of bishop g5. Right, 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 right. Right, the one that uh, Peter Rabula had. Right, exactly, I agree with you. The only, the only person who wouldn't agree with me is Peter Rabula. Yeah, and, and I, I think Stockfish is overrating this position for black. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it shows that black is half pound ahead, and uh, I'm not so sure about that estimation. So what's the status of the contest right now? Peter's in the lead with yep. Matsi and me. All right. Well, it's all it's it's up for grabs now. Cool. And then yes. we have some uh, names uh, beneath them that are uh, new people. Cool. Awesome. Well done. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, it's uh, so-called Team Hispanics. They have. <laughs> A surprising number of new members, and um, and surprisingly, some of them are very good predictors. And uh, you've seen lately that uh, they're winning good prizes. And uh, all right, well, thank you, hey, thank fine. you, Yuri. <laughs> Everybody is happy. <laughs> oh. All right, Peter. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> but it's uh, Bishop G3. Yeah, I think it's boxed, isn't it? It's boxed, or do you yeah. think that the rook... Yeah, because rook E2, rook E3 looks quite horrible to me. <clears throat> and I don't see what the black's got such a big deal here, unless he's going to follow up with Bishop uh, B5, and I'm not entirely certain what bishop b5 does it's kind of weird actually when you're going on a queen side attack yeah i just start pushing pawns but hmm. Hmm. in fact this is very serious advantage for black that his uh, queen side pawns are more advanced yeah than king size pawn not yeah. only is there as advanced they're also blo blockaded by right now on black squares right um, I'm surprised that Yuri is not using that. Yeah, exactly. Or a forced way. But maybe we will see some movements very soon. Maybe. Maybe. In the meantime, we have Peter Abule in the first place, followed by Michael Hofer, Matsi Leoa, Maurice Renieris, Isma Brutich, Roshan German. Oh, cool. Salona. And Perdon Monch. Uh, there's the leaders right now. 
Yeah, Yuri's got to worry about that D pawn now, so he can't advance on the queen side. Yeah. Uh huh. Actually, it's going to be very interesting partners because we don't have all these uh, favorites right now, like uh, Gajir Gusinov and Abdullah. And, uh, and Yuri Soldovnik, he's busy playing himself. So exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anybody can win now. Right. Very interesting today. So, uh, we're expecting Bishop G3, but it has not been played yet. Yeah, what's he thinking what? about, man? That's scary. Oh, gosh, I hope he's not going to do a rook lift. So, Mahal, rook e3 now, the first game. Can you believe that? Uh, Stockfish, uh, schizophrenic. <laughs> I mean, I, it's, it's not losing on a spot, it's just that um, it doesn't improve White's position at all. And, um, this should be should three cause a lot more um, problems, G3, rather. Ah, we should have before the chemical liability because it's, yeah. it's a spin. Even even queen b6 is a possibility. Yeah, these guys have created a very, very interesting position. Yes, yes, and both have uh, strong bishops, and um, the position is very unbalanced. It has a pawn start, towards the Opposite side is casting. A lot of things going on. So now Stockfish believes that rook e2 is really very bad move. Rook <laughs> e3 is no longer, is no longer there. <laughs> so bishop g3 almost becoming a, a real option for white to consider, but. Um, Grandmaster Yunieski Kasari is taking his time to figure out really what to do. Yeah, and time could become a factor. So what else? If he's not going to do Bishop G3, because maybe uh, if he would play Bishop G3, he would have done it by now. <coughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Rook E2 is really bad, so then what, what, what other options here? What, yeah. what to play? Where to go? Yeah, yeah Yuniski and Zivita sometimes just get lost in thought, as I do. Mm -hmm. Get more interested in the position than actually winning the game. Yeah, que paso. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's uh, looking for motocicleta. <laughs> yeah, Bishop G3 is just so simple, Russian. I agree. Rook E3. Oh, my God. Rook E3. Now it's the first game. Speaking about Rook E3. Yes, yeah, Dr. This is like a woman picking out a new hat. Oh, now rook e3 and rook e2 are the two moves. No longer bishop g3 is an option. And, and wow. look at these crazy point values that keeps uh, flopping around now. Like, uh, suddenly something's wrong with bishop g3. What could be wrong with bishop g3? It's a perfectly fine move, in my opinion, unless I'm totally blind. And according to this, then bishop g3 is worse than minus 84. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No way. Maybe Marty can enlighten us as to why he's getting these weird numbers. Way. Okay, you have bishop on f4, and it's very strong piece. It's attacking d6 pawn. It's potentially can attack h6. Now, on g3, it's not going to be as strong. And that doesn't <laughs> give bishop h4 in the first place. 
So maybe the idea is to resist and prove the bishop on h4, in fact, is not very effective. But how do you do that? By playing... Play okay. rook number one again! Ha! Oh, God! Oh. And rook two finally was played. Yuniski. But that runs right away, I think, at the bishop d5. You were right, Sasha. When he took time, it was he was thinking of something else. Oh, what to do for black? Bishop b5. Uh, looks like an engine move. What is that? Oh, it hits a rook now. Wait a minute. That's a, That makes sense now. It hits a rook. And it covers the d-pawn. Oh, well, there it is. Bishop b5 for sure. Protects the d-pawn, hits the rook, and tells Uniski, hey, dude, you just made a mistake again. So, yeah. How many, how many times can Yuri keep hitting the same rook? We'll find out. Stay tuned. Well, uh, another hint says um, uh, queen b6 or queen f6, but I think bishop b5 is definitely yeah, yeah. It, it does one. way too many things, and there's no way well, you're, there's no way you're real mess it either. And bishop on g7 is not doing that much. Right, that was his biggest liability, in fact. Yeah, so by relocating bishop to b5, uh, you're definitely improving your position. With a tempo, you're attacking a rook and asking the pay, where are you going to go? And then Uniski has to decide if he wants to move the rook again or if he wants to trade bishops. Mm hmm. <coughs> I think I'd move the rook again. Where to eat three? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the bishop trade, I would think the black's bishop isn't participating in an attack right now, while white's bishop still has some prospects of attacking the king side. So to me, bishop b5, rook e3, and then probably a4, and we're back on track to uh, see who who hits first. And in that case, I guess black might have an edge from all these extra tempos he got. And more advanced pawns, yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with you. It's more advanced pawns, and the more importantly is that the oh, oh my gosh, Yuri, oh, Yuri, Yuri, Yuri! Oh man, really? Oh, Yuri really beats us all. He held off on that for so long, and then he still wants a weak a pawn, a d pawn rather. So now, Bishop takes d six as an option. Bishop d3 to take away the threat of bishop b5. What else does Yaniski have? Oh, of course, Stockfish, only bishop d3. Why is this? Why is this? What is Stock? No winners. Wow. No winners on that. That's, wow. Wow, wow, Michael, wow. Look, look at the pool. Yeah, 3,700, 3, I know. Get him to 4,000. So if somebody will... Uh, make, for example, move like King A1, and will be our sole winner. <laughs> he wins contest right away. Okay, on his pawn. There's no reason not to, to munch, right? Just put five crowns on King A1. And that's it. Not that it's a very good move. Oh, that gives up. That gives up an exchange, but you get two pawns. Is Yuniski going to sack the exchange here? With bishop takes d6. There is another king, bishop c1. You I'm get surprised. to wipe out all... He's not going to do that. No. Oh, jeez. I almost went with bishop d6. He's not going to do it. He's going to play bishop d3. Take that threat away, and then you're still on the d point. Okay. Boy, I almost got excited about bishop takes d6. That, that You get to eat the d pawn and the b pawn, but you got to cough up your rook. Not well, that yeah, bishop d3 is a reasonable move simply because it's 4,600 crowns. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I was trying to steal. A lot of crowns. So. Yeah, a lot of crowns. So, uh, bishop takes d6. Uh, but see. Bishop d6, yeah. Bishop, sure. bishop d6, bishop b5, bishop takes yeah. b4, bishop takes e2. 
and that's yeah. that's wild, and it's a little too wild, I think, for uh, Quesada's taste. Yeah, Quesada, I think he likes more solid uh, positions than that. Yeah, Yuri would love it. <laughs> it's getting close to five thousand. Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember when it's ever been this high, actually. Yeah. Well, it's critical. I, I would put five pounds on uh, King Gay One. <laughs> wow. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. It's interesting calculation. Okay, so King Gay One. <laughs> three is so bad. Yeah. It's closing. <laughs> is the checkmate in five moves? Yeah. <laughs> Really, Orkin? You really think he's going to go for the exchange sack? I don't think so. Wow. Yeah, that's good advice from Orkin. Everybody take Bishop D6, right? Exactly. So you believe the 5,000 crowns invest in right, Bishop D6? Right, right. <laughs> that's that idea? <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow, that's as crazy as it can go. <laughs> Cannot be more crazier. Actually, actually, Bishop D6 is not a, not such a bad move. It's not losing right away. Right, you, right. You eat the pawn. Just when you get opposite side castling, I don't know if you want to cough up rooks. And even though you eat those pawns, you're given black open files. So for me, it's asking to get mated. My, wow, it's 5,120 crowns. Oh. Yeah, I'm oh. pretty sure that is a record. If, uh, if the players would see the pools, they would start doing some crazy moves to confuse yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. 660 Just, crowns I got on that. Nice. Nice. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Now, will Yuri rip? I think ripping pulls the queen away from the pawn. Uh, yeah, ripping looks like it makes sense. Queen b6. And now, uh, Yuri, Yuri, go ahead and rip. Go ahead and take. Because that Rick isn't going to be there to get tickled anymore. They might as well take the guy. That, that looks a very reasonable move to me. Rook yeah. takes Rook. Yeah. yeah, I won also. Yeah, for sure. 606 crowns, same as you did. Yeah, that's quite an amazing payoff when there were 11 winners. The only <laughs> bad thing is, I'm looking at the board. Nava is still ahead of me. Look at that. Uh oh. Is this for the dishes again? Absolutely. Uh, now I, I became really a uh, big, big expert in, in the dishes. <laughs> now, maybe he doesn't have to take with the queen, though. Maybe he could take with the bishop. But I think taking with the queen is probably what white would do if uh, Merck takes Rook. Yeah, yeah. The only thing is that uh, you're no longer threatening uh, to win the d6 pawn because it will be easy right, to defend. Right, right, right. Which is why he might take with the bishop. Yeah. But, uh, nah. You see, the only thing is that um, black can be create a lot of threats by playing very simple moves like b3, uh, a3, and start bothering white's king. Wow, I'm only nine crowns ahead of Monty. This is really tight. Yeah, it is tight because, I mean, everybody is very close to it. Um, Roshan is now quite a bit of He's got um, good things going. <laughs> yeah, I think he beat me last time we were uh, competing too. Really? Yeah, wow. It doesn't happen very often. I think it's happened like twice. But he's a good kid. He's very smart. Yeah. Yeah. I played a few a few blitz uh, games with him uh, a week or two weeks ago, and uh, I beat him a couple times. But then he beat me a few times. Oh, cool. That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. good, because uh, Rosh is not the strongest blitz player in the world, as, as you are very strong, so that's, that's good to hear. 
And uh, <laughs> I got a I got a compliment for Victor Magro about him too, saying that uh, he thinks he's very well. Uh, uh, the fact that he goes over the games in between games, that he really cares about the blitz games, that really impressed Victor. So I'm glad Russian continues to take my advice. Good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, he's a very talented guy. I remember he played the uh, contest uh, some time ago against uh, against Alexander Do you remember? Yeah. Oh, oh God! Yeah, we 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 worked very hard to uh, take apart her uh, reverse Philidor Hungarian whatever. He had a winning position. He got in time trouble, and then after he uh, he blundered, and, and it was only equal after that. He went straight down the drain, and uh, he he started crying, but nobody knew that. And Lexi was so nice to him after the game. I mean, seriously, she really encouraged him, and so did Gadir. That was like Corbett. You were here for that. Yeah, very interesting story. Yeah, it, it was a it was a major that's a major thing in the kid's life. He's never gonna forget that. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, you never forget a loss like that. You remember losses, not the wins. Only <laughs> 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 only Sasha Star has all the stories remembering the wins, like at the New York Open. <laughs> 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 It was many, 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 many years ago. Yeah. <sighs> what is your so, thinking about? Again, because he is not playing rookie too fast enough, it means that he is going to do something else. But yeah, what is that? You, you can, you're right, who never lost? We never hear Sasha Star's story where he lost except losing to do the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a give us a losing game story, Sasha. You must have a good losing game story. Well, it's happened to me a few months ago in uh, in Florida, in Orlando. <laughs> oh wow! What <laughs> 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 a fun story! I, I mean, I had a draw three times repetition, and uh, but there was no amateur to call. So anyway, Harvey. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that was a story. <laughs> Harvey Lerman. Harvey, who actually did well in the contest and then never showed up again. Yeah, I think that... Uh, yeah, I, I remember he's... he's, he's, he's he won, uh, in the very first contest he ever played, he, he, he got the fourth prize or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Yuri, what are you thinking about, brother? What are his oh, other that, options? That, Queen B6, Bishop F6. Um, Bishop G5 again? He ain't going to do that, is he? Why would he want to do that again? Uh, and maybe B3. Yeah, he might be looking at B3. You could get lost in thought on B3. On the other hand, No, no, he's still got to worry about that, that deep one. No, no. Yeah, queen b6 makes sense. Yeah, it is probably what he's going to play now. I almost wish I could switch my move. Queen, queen b6, you like that one? Yeah, queen b6 makes sense because it, it attacks and protects the deep one. Maybe this is one of the, you know, I, I like the story Kotov had in uh, Think Like a Grandmaster. How you, well, let's see. Let me look at Rick takes E2. No, I don't know about that. And then Queen B6, Queen F6. And then you, without any analysis at all, you just jump back to Rick takes E2 and it's a, and it's a mistake. Uh, I, I've done that so many times and Kotov told that story in the book exactly in that manner. So, again, I, I think you're right. If he would have played Rick E2 already, unless he gets so frustrated at the alternatives, he just plays it and just says the heck with it. Yeah, but you see, uh, look, he's playing this black piece, so I think he shouldn't mind um, to have a draw, for example, but rook e2, <coughs> I noticed that uh, Yuri prefers not to take pieces, but wait until the, the, the his opponent will take his piece. Right, right. As far as exchanges are concerned. He doesn't uh, want to trade his college graduates for their high school dropout, oh, but, but he did. Oh, no. Bravo, yeah. Yuri, thank you. <laughs> so, and Peter had it, too. Everybody had it. Uh, what, what do you think? 
He'll take it with a coin. Oh no, my battery's running low. Uh, okay, I fixed that. Uh. All right. Yeah, rook takes, queen takes, and then then bishop f6 or queen b6. Um, I kind of like queen b6. On the other hand, the bishop's doing nothing. Well, no, the bishop isn't doing nothing. He is slowing down the pawn assault a little bit. But on the other hand, you, know, you can you also do that from f6. Well, with a queen f6, the idea is to play h3, and you have a huge pressure on black uh, squares. Hmm. Hmm. So you're almost forced to play bishop c1. And then you have bishop g5. Mm -hmm. And it's not very pleasant <laughs> to look at. <laughs> okay, now what is Uniski doing? You're telling me he hadn't, with all that time Yuri spent, he hasn't already figured out what to do here? Like this is a surprise to him? Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't understand. <laughs> what, is he, what is he winning on? This is not the time to squander your clock, dude. Well, right now the situation is very simple. He is, uh, has uh, only eight minutes left, and Yuri has 16 minutes difference. God, he should have had this solved already. Okay, Bishop E2. Okay, he is retaining his attack against G6 pawn. Persons are a low <coughs> Black spawns are advanced. Finally, it was played. And now, we are looking at... Um, All right, Peter, choose wisely. This move could well, decide the contest. So the first hint is definitely bishop f6, and it looks pretty good to me. Maybe it will be played after all. Everybody's going to have that. This is why I didn't choose it. Ah, thank you! Stockfish now agrees with me. Yay! Go Stockfish. <laughs> but you know what? I'm telling you the truth. I'm surprised that Queen F6 is not any hints. In my opinion, this is a pretty, pretty straightforward move. So that's what you went with? Yeah. yeah. Oh. But, that, but I admit that Bishop F6 looks pretty strong because it also attacks d2 pawn at bishop to a better square than it was on h4. Now queen b6 on the other hand uh, protects um, g6 pawn. Well the problem and, with queen f6 is white can play the mate threat queen e4 and also hit the b pawn. So that loses a pawn. Yeah, agree. Yeah. He's not going to do that. So anyway, queen e4 actually is a quite strong move. Yeah. The threat is the pawn on b4 is hanging on d6. Yeah, queen e4 is coming almost no matter what, which would almost force uh, black to play f5. Not a move I think he wants to have to play here. So in this case, bishop f6 is not as good than right. queen b6, probably. Right. right. Although he could play g6 after that. But yeah, Orca and I are on the same uh, same wavelength there. Hopefully so is Yuri. Okay, so white is okay in this position, because I thought at one point that black was yeah, better. I think black lost the thread here somewhere, and I think white is, does have a slight advantage now. Well, yeah. And it was probably with a4. 
He timed day four uh, wrong a couple of times. That bishop b5 move uh, was very interesting, and we never saw it, unfortunately. Yeah. So all Black's problems are the same until uh, this move. He's got to do something to remedy everything. Well, um, now Queen uh, Bishop F6 is the first hint, believe it or not. Yeah. And Queen B6 also, Queen B8. Bishop F6. Well, I, just have to, I don't like Queen B8 choice. <clears throat> no. Yeah, I don't either. Strange, strange idea to relocate Queen to B8. Now, Queen B6 is definitely looks better. Oh, on the other hand, Queen B8 now is the second hint. And the first is Bishop F6, believe me. So, what is you going to do? I don't know what Victor Mago means by Queen B6, Queen H2. Well, probably means that uh, if Black plays Queen B6, White has an answer, Queen H2. Is that so strong? Oh, is it? Is it? I don't think so. I think Queen E4 is a bigger threat. Yes, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Force my caffeine for this. So, bishop yeah. f6 is the first hint, but what black is going against uh, queen e4? Right. You have to play g6. By the way, meanwhile, they're equal on time now, which is amazing. Yes. Yes. It's yeah, before you Uri, they screwed up. Five extra minutes and no longer the case. Yeah. That means Yuri's not happy with what he's done. I remember Quesada uh, lost a couple of games because of the time trouble. Yeah. Yet he's not too bad in the Armageddon's. Mm-hmm. I, I really like both of these guys, too, as gentlemen. And thank hey, you. Me, thank you, six, Solo. Hey. Solo is my boy. I predicted him well today. Queen E4, come on. This, it's, it is time. We will find out. Victor, we know, is on Queen H2. But I'm all on... Uh, Threatening mate like uh, you're a beginner. Well, it's not mate, but it's close to mate. And then he almost has to play f5, and the floodgates open. As a matter of fact, queen e4 is super strong. I have doubts that Solo would even play f5 after that. He might have to resort to G6, and I think White is actually uh, winning this game right now. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stockfish, you are wrong. This is more like a 90-point 90, 90 advantage than 15. Well, in the meantime, we see somebody by the name Michael Hofer. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Followed by Matt Leon, very close by Peter Abulia. Who is that? Oh, wow, three players have almost the same score. And Mauricio Mires, Russian, German. And then we have Navastar and Sami de Salona and Aristi de Spulvet. Wow. Aristides won the first Kentucky Derby, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody stronger than me tell me wh how you stop Queen E4 and why Stockfish doesn't see the beauty of this move. Orkin, doesn't Queen E4 just win? Well, according to Stockfish, it, 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 it's probably the best move here, but uh, it doesn't indicate that it wins. Yeah, that surprises me, because what 
How does black defend? F5 loses a pawn. G6. Everything is losing at least a pawn. That's true. I think G6. Bishop takes H6 sacks in here, too. I, I, think, I think black's busted. After Queen E4. Will Quesada. Quesada. Sada. Uniski looks good to me. <laughs> yes. Uniski looks good if he will play Queen E4. <laughs> and he, he doesn't look very good if he right. doesn't play Queen E4. <laughs> what are the other options? Queen E3 and Bishop E3. Huh. You know, while we're waiting, I was going over a position with uh, Ragov, and we found a game where Anand had played in the 1987 uh, World Open. Oh, yeah. Yes, he, I think it was the first time ever he played in Mexico. Oh, I hope he won. That was right before Goisberg stopped letting guys come with uh, letters from their federations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I, I was in the hunt for first place and I lost to a guy from Pakistan, not because he was from Pakistan, but because I was playing for a rook take C3 sack the whole game. Got in time trouble, he made an exchange on the king side, and that was the one moment where rook take C3 wins, and I'll never forget that. But uh, yeah, I missed out on the Vichyana and uh, 18 years old playing in Philadelphia. <laughs> well, Cassandra now has less than four minutes left. Can you imagine that? Yeah. The and, position is still complicated. There are bishops, oak, queen. And how can anyone miss this move? He's not going to miss the move. So what else is he looking at? Why would you reject this move? It offers too many possibilities. I would first play queen e4, and then I would think what else to play. Oh, so Soroshin thinks he might pile on h6. Thank you. Thank you, Uniski. Now, what in the world will Yuri do? Will he see that f5 is needed? Yeah, agreed. Is it is it because of the queen placement that he can get away with that? On f5. Yeah. White takes, and then rook e8. Is that a problem for, for white? Actually, uh, not, not, not only Rook E8. He is going to play F5. Oh, he did uh, play F5. He okay. did play. And, yeah. I, and I, I didn't jump in, and I, I lost on that. Uh, uh, Matsi Loon passed me. He's going to oh, take he that. Of course he's going to take it. Then I got in a second too late. Great. Great. Okay, Rook E8 for sure. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I missed. That's what I was asking everybody to show me. There has to be some swindle move. And then where's the queen go? What? Uniski. You gotta think like Uniski, too. Thinking like Uniski. Yes. I think Mark is okay here. I mean, uh, Bishop will go to f6. Yeah. And Black has a um, very good position. Uh oh. Yeah. Gary didn't play queen rookie 8. That's a surprise. All right. What does Bishop E3 do? Oh, it lets the Queen come over. Oh, it hits the Queen too. Oh, I love Bishop E3. And I'm too late again. And Vosto Queen. Now people, Vosto everybody's Vosto. flying past me. Oh, where's he going to go? Okay. I know where he's going to go. Holy mackerel. Queen G8 is a first choice. Queen A5, possibly. In B7, eh, probably not. Queen G8 is a reasonable move. But actually, Rook E8 is probably better than Bishop of 6. Yeah, yeah, he screwed up. Yeah, because Bishop, you wouldn't allow Bishop E3. And then, next move, you would play Bishop of 6. But it was up there. Oh, Roshan is right on my tail. Go away, Russian. 
But it's very tight race. Look at this. Yeah. Uh, Massimo in 2750. Peter Abu in 2706. <laughs> and uh, you have 2705. Yeah. And uh, then you're all called by uh, Rosha. Yeah. And Mar Maurizio Ramirez. And now stars starting to Scalona. Oh, and Sasha Star finally is also. Hey, Eddie Barber. But it's not going to help me a lot. It's a vicious stuff. Yeah, I entered nothing in the last two or three moves, so. Kind of interesting. I'm still this close. Eddie Barber's here. Good to see you, Eddie. I think he'll go Queen B7. He could go Queen A5. I don't think Queen D8 is happening. That's the first hint for whatever reasons. And uh, Queen A5, you don't, you don't like? Oh, it's okay. I, I don't really like Queen D8. I don't think it's Yuri's style. Queen B7, I think, is a very likely Yuri move. Yes, yes, I agree with you on that. And it also gets the, the biggest uh, overlay of the pool. Yeah, <laughs> Queen, B7, uh, Queen B7 followed by Rook E8, and I think yeah. Black's position is, uh, is definitely okay, at least okay. However, the hints show the uh, stockfish likes uh, white's chances in these positions. Well, one thing you cannot uh, find is the father term. Hmm. So, Yuri is catching on time. Uh, Gnievsky, it's going to be. A crazy fight at the very end on the last seconds. Mike, you have to be prepared. Be very, very fast. Yeah, and that's not my forte. No? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised Yuri has taken so much time when, uh, like, like this, the game depends on. I don't know that it matters where he puts the queen as much as, uh, much as not losing clock time. Wow. This guy's been awful liberal with their clock time today. It's probably what's going to decide well, the game. You are still, technically speaking, he still uh, has extra half minute, but it's disappearing very fast. Yeah. Well, the prospects of yeah. Queen B7 go up as long the longer he takes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, all these three hints are very close in valuation. Queen yeah. D8, Queen A5, and Queen G7. It's almost <coughs> right. Well, oh, pick one, Yuri. I can't stand the suspense. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Victor agrees with me. Oh, wow. I like Queen B7 because it, it allows to play Rook E8, and Queen on D8 doesn't allow to play Rook E8. That's mm. that's how far. I, and also it defends a pawn on B4, and attacks potentially pawn on D5. On D5, but it's very unlikely that it will ever take on D5 because Queen will be exposed from all kinds of attacks against B Rook and so on. So. Well, what do you think is going where he must do any move? I know White's going to follow up with Bishop D4 no matter what he does. Actually, now I'm worried if his internet connection is yeah. okay. Yes. Yeah. It's really strange that. Um, Not like Yuri. Yeah, yeah. What he's going to do? Now he has less than two minutes left. Wow. This would be a terrible time for the contest to end. <laughs> no. I'm one crown behind Peter. No. <laughs> That's horrible. Go, Yuri. Come on, man. Oh no, yeah, there's something wrong for sure. Oh, this is terrible. We should be gentlemen and pause the contest. I don't I don't want to think about this. 
Oh, Yuri. Well, um, Joey, he's still Joey's online, still and he played Queen B7. God bless you, Yuri. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God bless the Soviet authorities. All right. Is it better to be lucky or be good? Oh, I have a four hundred crown lead. Cool. Now, now, yes. Yuri, you can run out of time. It's okay now. <laughs> yes. Baby, he should be four. <laughs> Rookie eight for sure. Why would he play Rook F eight? <laughs> Seriously. So it's a choice between rook e8 and rook f8. Okay, rook e8 was Queen played. G4. Queen g4 with devastating threats. And then he's got to find h5. Oh, jeez. I'm not so sure if he's going to do that. Yes. As a matter of fact, I don't think he'll do that. You will trade. Okay, so what's going on? I'm right. You should I love it when I'm right. So I must to take. And then B3, right? Well, Here we go. Finally, B3. Finally. Here it is. Welcome to B3. He has to. He's got to take the chance. With 39 seconds, and he played rookie 5. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Look at this. Russian, German, and Maurice Ramirez. Each one 853 crowns. Wow. Oh, how now, Brown Cow? Where'd they come up with that? Well, F6. Yeah, F6 is actually quite a dangerous move. Yeah. Indirectly protects D5 pawn, too. Oh, good job, Roshan. Choose the losing move and win. <laughs> uh, probably not losing, but uh, definitely it doesn't help much. Niski, what are you waiting on? Oh, my God, no! He did not. He did, he and did. And the big winners, Dusan Milojevic, Jose Morena, Isma Brutish, 697 crowns, and Quintana, 174. Wow. Congratulations wow. to Paul. How does Yuniski miss F6? What are you doing, Yuniski? Oh, my God. All right, can we get a B3 uh, move out of uh, Yuri? So he's got a fighting chance here. Well, he's down to 20 seconds now, I yeah. think he's, I think he understands that it's not his day, and it's about time to give up. Oh my, oh my, well, yeah, look at that. Oh my, and he played A3. Oh. Okay, we have a very big winner, Catherine. 1,679 crowns, believe it or not, and not 300 and 36 crowns, and congratulations. Oh, wow. So what's going on here? First king, queen g6. Yeah, that looks devastating. One. Yeah, but here it's down to four seconds. It's, it does make sense. I like with rook g1 more than queen g6 because, you know, it's direct threat. Queen g6 good. is psychologically uh, tough to deal with when you're in time pressure, though. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. That's right. Thank you, Anise. Right. Very kind of you. Well. Oh. 
So, what, bishop b5 is required? No! Queen d5, no winners! Wow. And after, uh, after well, f6, f6, f6 closes the door. And a big payoff, too. All right, Niski. Oh, no, not Rook G1. He missed F6 before. Uh, don't. Yeah, thank you, Niski. Okay, baby. That's the end of story. Well, you got to play Rook G5. Anyway. Doesn't help much. I think he'll resign. No. Well, then, game goes on. Queen H7, coming up, so what else, mm. yeah, Queen H7, so King F7, no, Rook F1, F takes G7, anything wins. What do you prefer? Rook F1 or King I went F with F takes G7 just because it, it seems like it would cause Yuri's flag to fall more likely. Yes. Well, yes, but it's the end of story. Takes. You must take it. Here's the rook. Yeah. And, and that's it. Well then. And you did run out of time and also out of positions and everything else. Congratulations to Michael Hofer. Who oh. won with a very good result. 3745 rounds. Thank you. The worst result goes to Valderrama. Congratulations. Well done. Minus 1,852 crowns. Fantastic. All right, Marty, can we get Yuniski? And maybe your Yuniski told me uh, just uh, an hour before the broadcast he'd do the uh, close game. Hello? Oh, he is here. Yuniski! I guess we're calling. Hello? Yuniski! Bravo, man! Great game! Oh, thank you, thank you. Fantastic! Okay, Very exciting. Please show us a little bit how, how, did you, how you were able to win against Yuri, who is uh, very good in this opening. Yes. Oh, <clears throat> yes, I, I think the, the game was very, very interesting. Uh, okay, I can go back the pieces, right? Sure. Please. You can start. Uh, you can start. I, I, I think the, the critical moment was here. When I play, <clears throat> okay, he, he played a four. I, I think it, it, this is not uh, the best move. I, I am wearing this bishop b5. Yeah. Yeah. And then queen b6. I think here, okay, mm, I, I think here black, black is very good. Here. Yes, yes, because very exciting. Because my rook, of course, is hanging. Um, my pieces are not bad, but I don't think they are in the best places. Maybe I need to play queen d2 here, but bishop f6, and he has a very good uh, and comfortable position here. Um, but Okay, uh, in this moment when he played uh, a4, bishop d3, uh, yeah, of course, he can play queen f6 because I can take. Um, against a3, uh, bishop c5. Um, this is was the, the, the key move, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the, the opening I don't think was okay so important here. It's very uh, okay. This bishop h4 was bishop g5 uh, was 
very uh, stronger move because I don't. Uh, okay, I can take because take take. Um, this position is of course very good for for black because this uh, that is square vision. But I play I play this uh, queen h2, rook e8. Here, okay, maybe he need to take take and rook e5. Um, okay, black. <laughs> uh, and this this position is equal here. Even even maybe black is uh, okay. I don't know if a little better, but because I, bishop f5 take. And I can take any fight because I need to take here because I, I don't I can take here because of this check and mm -hmm. and queen c seven and then he take in e five another pawn up very clever man. yeah um okay I, uh, he played which which four I think this is uh, the stronger move in the book. Rook e2. That surprised us. Yeah. Um, um, this a4, okay, in my opinion, this was a, a bad move here. Right, right. Agreed. Uh, he take, uh, I take with, with queen here. I don't worry, if I take here, he don't need to play queen f6. He can play, for example, b3. Yes. Take, take, and I, a3, and I'm... <laughs> I think here he has very uh, okay, great attacking. Maybe something like queen c7 to play rook c8 and some check in c2 at some point. I'm not sure. Okay, but anyway, this I check with my queen here. Uh, play queen b6, queen e4, f5. Queen e4 was so super strong. Yeah, but I think maybe he have to play rook e8 first. Yes, he had to and he didn't. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not sure about this position because I want to play queen g2. That's what I bishop, thought you would do. Yes. Bishop f6. I take here. Yeah. Crazy position. Yeah, maybe some. Okay, he can play queen d4. Even even here, maybe he can play. Queen Oh my God! I, <laughs> <laughs> wow. So even maybe I don't know C three is possible here. Here maybe he can he, he can take with uh, give me his queen. So I can take. Uh, if the Oh yeah, I think I'm lo losing here. Okay, we should do one and take. Wow, crazy line! Yeah, very crazy line. I think here I need to play this bishop c1. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh -huh. it's hard to be sure. It's a crazy position, and you played with a lot of bravado today, man. And Yuri yeah. just uh, squandered his time. He had a big time advantage, and I think that's where he lost the game. Yeah, maybe the time pressure and the end, of course. Yeah. Uh, because here I have two points up, but, but the position is very, uh, yeah. you know, unclear. Yeah. Here. Um, okay, in the, in the last position when he played this bishop f6, bishop e3, and I think I'm winning here because. Yes. Bishop yeah, no e3, doubt. No doubt. It's, no doubt. it's over. That, that was yeah. the hammer right there. Yeah, he, he can try some queen d8 because if I play bishop d4 or now, okay, I'm not sure because rook. I think I, I'm going to play this rook g1, but because I'm worried about this take and f6, yeah, I'm not sure in this position. Maybe I'll win, <laughs> but I'm not seeing this. I'm king f8. Yep, and there's your okay, dagger. I'm seeing now. A7 defeat winning for me, but I am seeing this this is now because in the game I, I don't I don't think that okay maybe this this is winning for me because he can go here 
I just play Queen E4 and Queen and Piece because of mate and match style. Yeah, I'm worried about this position, but you want very well. Okay, he played Queen B7, Bishop B4, Rook E8. Uh, <coughs> um, here, okay, I'm completely winning here. Yeah. Okay. Even, uh, but even with with the time time pressure for him was very awkward to sustain this position. Yeah. Because how many do uh, not threat here? Queen G4. Okay, I just playing. Rook G1 or, or like okay, Queen G6 and F3. Okay, he played H3 and Queen G6 um, and it's over because if 6 is strong. Yeah. And if he yeah. played, for example, Bishop E8, yeah, just, I just take in 6 and um, it's over. Maybe. Yeah, everything is hanging. Okay, uh, Junioski, please uh, say a couple of words in Spanish. We have a lot of Spanish audience. Just uh, say hello to them. Okay, uh, eh, hola, hola dos. Um, voy, voy a explicar todo, todo de nuevo a lo que dije en inglés, eh, en español. Aquí. Um, por ejemplo, como les dije, la, la apertura no, no es tan importante. Yo pienso que aquí las negras, y, o sea, la posición es completamente eh, igualada. Eh, creo que el momento crítico fue aquí, cuando, eh, cuando el jugador H4 Torre, ¿no? Creo que la jugada correcta hubiese sido el pin B5, torre 3 y dama B6. Porque, ok, mis piezas están bien, pero eh, él tiene amenazas en el flanco dama y yo todavía no tengo que buscar el flanco. Entonces, tal vez dama de 2 juego al F6 y, y la posición es, mm, creo que un poco mejor para, para las negras. Aquí, eh, él jugó, eh, él jugó a 4, creo que fue un error aquí, porque al fin de 3 es una jugada muy fuerte. El, el problema aquí es que si dan F6, sencillamente toma. Y no puede hacer a 3 por el fin de 5. Y aquí es, estoy prácticamente ganado. Y si él come y tomo al fin, con la idea del fin de 5, torre 8 quitando esta bocacía eh, de tomar buena hora, que sencillamente es eh, como el peón de B4 y, y tengo muchos peones de ventaja. Aquí, eh, luego él me jugó, eh, ok, A4, y aquí eh, tomó aquí en E2. Estamos, aquí la posición creo que es bastante difícil eh, para la manera. Dama B6, dama E4. F5 y tomé aquí. Aquí, eh, ok, F5 única jugada. Aquí creo que otro momento crítico. Creo que a jugar por G8. Eh, yo iba a jugar más G2, pero es final el file 3. Pero no, no, no estoy seguro de esto. Si la blanca es mejor, creo que simplemente es un poco mejor, pero está cercano de la Aquí yo tenía pensado jugar Damo G2, vi al fil F6 aquí, como el mismo posible, al fil 4, y algo así como Damo D4 al fil C1, A3, y algo como una posibilidad de jugar para las negras. No sé si, si, si es correcto. También algún B3 hubiese sido. Eh, interesante aquí eh, él me jugó esta bastante rápido pero bueno también estaba en, en problema de tiempo y, y esta jugada al file 3 con idea del file 4 <coughs> bastante fuerte y creo que ahí estoy eh, probablemente en esta posición estoy prácticamente ganado porque es muy difícil de sostener en la posición para las negras tramo de 7 al file 4 torre 8 y aquí, bueno, la posición para él eh, probablemente no tiene mucho... Eh, o sea, puede, puede que haya tenido mejores jugadas para hacer, pero la posición es bastante difícil para las negras. Él tomó, tomé, 
torre de 5 aquí primero pensé jugar F6 pero vi que me jugaba G5 pensé jugar esta pero vi que me jugaba G5 y no estaba muy seguro de esta posición eh, esto es mejor pero pensé que dama G4 era mucho mejor dejándole F6 en algún momento como amenaza y estoy jugando dama G6 y F6 eh, y, y torre G1 también él me jugó A3 y dama G6 aquí luego de F6 ya creo que la partida está decidida aquí, eh, luego me tomó dama C5 F6 torre G5, dama H7 F7 y bueno pero un por simple eh, aquí esta por supuesto no, no, no puede ser ¿cierto? torre G5 por torre G1 y va pero cuál podía entregar aquí torre G5 si o con ventaja de eso pero claro no, no, no era necesario sencillamente F1 y torre torre F1 aquí y estaba todo eh, bueno, sé que hay muchos eh, eh, hispanos aquí, hay muchos hispanos en esta España. Eh, espero les haya gustado la partida. Creo que cuando yo como solo Nichenko dimos un buen espectáculo, la partida fue bastante interesante y complicada y espero que la hayan disfrutado y espero disfruten también mañana la, la, la próxima, la tres. Wow. Yeah, I'm finished. I'm finished. With yes, fantastic. Wow. Okay, great. Awesome. Bravo. Thank what you a very gentleman. Much. Fantastic. Okay. Good luck to you tomorrow, and uh, please don't get low on time. Yeah, I think this was the most exciting game we ever had. Yes, <laughs> fantastic game. Great, Thank great, you, great and job, see you see. everybody tomorrow. Thank you, everybody, to all. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Okay, thank see you, you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Kermit, coming right up.